Hey everybody, Silver here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Now, you might be wondering, uh, hey Silver, who are these guys? Well, these are Buccaneers. They are sort of an upgraded version of the pirate that we fought uh, by talking with Vicky. Also managed to get Blizzara. Let's show that off. Very low health, and yet they can, you know, in the long run, they hold a lot of money, so. Alright, well, let's see. Need to restock any? We can restock on Phoenix Down, I suppose. Or not. Okay. Alright, the reason we're back in Cornelia is. that, um. there's something I'd like to show off. Remember when we, uh, beat Lick, or Lich, however you pronounce it, and the Earth Gift Shrine opened up? Well, now we can access it. And, let's see. One, two, and in we go. The floors are completely random. Get yeah, high potion. Spider silk. Uh, Blizzara. Gloom Widow, which is an upgraded version of the spider enemies. This place is pretty good for grinding for uh, levels and uh, money. Maybe overkill, or not. Okay. Uh, let's see. We should be good now. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, that one's a dead end, so... Speed up! Okay. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah, make sure you pack a lot of healing items. And here's floor two in a strange forest. Talk to these guys, there's Skulgers. They go down pretty easy. Ambush. Uh, 
But there I go again, picking magic on the monk. What is wrong with me? Alright, uh, Blizzara. Blizzara. Alrighty. Mm hmm. Skulger. Lots of soldiers. Uh, magic. Fire off. Yeah, not really much to say. The monsters in here are a lot stronger than uh, the monsters you face in the normal overworld. Desert Feed. Okay, and preemptive strike, so I'm running. Black Goblin. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh. Alright, let's, um... It's Thundara. Of course, Black Mage does it better. Here. Uh, attack, attack. said the floors are pretty random not just that but the uh, place where you spawn on the floor is pretty random too so there are sometimes where you could spawn on the other end of the floor and sometimes when you could just spawn right next to the staircase to the next floor Yeah, not really much to say. Um, I suppose while we're doing this, I can, uh... Yeah, freaking. I suppose while I'm doing this, I can talk about, um... Everybody... If they want to, uh challenge me to a race in a game 
uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, Nintendo Capri Sun's videos lately, where uh, he races people to see who can beat a certain game first. I've seen him play, uh, I think, Mega Man 2, Link to the Past, Battletoads. The Battletoads was the first one I watched. It was pretty hilarious. Mainly because it had Proton John in there, but, you know. So, if anybody wants to, uh, if anybody wants to accept my challenge, so to speak, um, then, yeah. No oh, crap, we keep getting ambushed. Alright, um Fire off. There we go. Up next in my list of uh, Let's Plays, I'm considering doing um, Mega Man 3. And if anybody knows how to net play me, I can uh, versus them in. If anybody knows how to net play me, could. If you know how to net play, could you. Uh, could you teach me how? Because. Uh, <laughs> I really want to challenge somebody to uh, like Pokemon Stadium or something like that, but everybody's like scattered. Everybody I know is like scattered all over the world, and uh, yeah, you can kind of see the problem there. And shoot, I should have stocked up on ethers. Alright, some Skulgers. And of course, Black Mage does it better. I should put that on a t-shirt or something. Black Mage does it better. See what's over here? A lake. Okay. Wait, I walked up and talked to the guy. How's that being ambushed? I don't get that. Anyway. And yeah, I am out. Anyway, um, let's use fire on everybody. Gold, go ahead and finish them off. All right. Now let's see. Ah, come on. Uh, as I was saying earlier, I'd like to net play people. If you can show me how, that would be nice. Uh, the consoles I am using are Visual Boy Advance for this, uh, SNES. Uh, Z for SNES, I use uh, ZSNES for v for uh, the original Nintendo. I use uh, Virtua NES. Ah. Virtua NES and uh, for the N64 I 
use Project 64. All of these are really good emulators. They're really, um, you know, they're really consistent. They're really high quality. So I would rec I would highly recommend using them. Uh, let's see. I think it's this guy that I have to go past. Let's see, other than that, not a whole lot going on. Vampire Fang. Hmm. Trying to remember what that does. Ah, it paralyzes a foe. Sweet. Anyway. More of these guys. Speed up. this guy, who turns out to be a spider, and what's this? A tombstone, we can't examine it even. It's worth noting that in the um, original version of Final Fantasy, uh, if you target everybody and uh, if you target the same enemy with everybody and only one or two of the guys kills that enemy then in the original version uh, everybody else would just be attacking nothing okay for three speed drink potion And this is going to be annoying. Okay, let's see if I remember right. Okay, and... Ah, come on. Yeah, it gets kind of annoying. There it is. Okay. There's that. I don't really remember a pattern for this. I just know that there is one. I think it's if you have... Uh, three trees in a certain triangle formation, that's where the uh, exit is. That? Oh, come on. Yeah, you don't expect goblins in the middle of the desert, so I guess that's a good place for an ambush. Elven Cloak. Okay. Uh, let's try it quick. Actually, no. I think 
I think a warrior is armored up enough, so... There. Okay. Alright. There it is. Okay. And we get the silver apple, which is pretty good. It, uh... It permanently raises uh, a character's max HP. Hmm, I think I'll use that on the Black Mage. Quick healing up. All right. And there's also the speed drink, which temporarily raises agility, useful in battle. Anyway. Alright. So these three are forming a triangle pointing up, so let's go up. There's the exit. Okay. Yeah, this place only has five floors, but... It has four doors on this floor, and for each one you get, each one you go through, there is a boss waiting for you. Now keep in mind, once you go through, you can always go back out, but once you talk to them, you see these flames, once you examine them, there's no going back. And each of these flames represents a different boss, a new boss, a boss from a different Final Fantasy game. For example, this one, which happens to be right next to the chest. There are none who can stop me in all of creation. You too shall fall before me. So here we have Ariman. Uh, let's see, attack. Attack. Let's just have him on attack duty. And let's use a vampire fang. And that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, magic. Let's try Blizzara. Thundara would make sense since he's a flying enemy. Earthquake. Okay, that's a pretty nasty move. It usually kills whoever, uh, whoever it hits. Um, let's see. Let's use... Huh. Let's use Spider Silk. And let's try Confuse. I doubt it'll work, but... Blaze! Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, so if we are defeated, we get kicked back out here. So... Alright. Let's try one of the other doors. You've done well to come this far, but you will go no further. Echidna. Isn't that a... Isn't that one of those egg-laying mammals in Australia? Anyway. Um, let's see. Aha! Ether. Fyra.
As you might no notice, these bosses have very high attack, very high defense. I'm probably horribly underleveled for these. Let's just spam Fyra. She's got Earthquake too, seriously. Damn it. And let's see, magic. Yep, I'm dead. Or not. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. Um, let's see. Let's try Spider Silk. Spider Silk casts slow. But it doesn't work. Uh, it didn't work, so... Okay, um... Probably gonna be a jerk and use Earthquake again, but I'll bring back, uh, the Fighter. Let's have him use High Potion, and let's uh, give him a potion as well. Nope. And I'm probably going to die. Yep. All right. So notice we got kicked out, but we still got our levels. So... Anyway, just to show off that this is a good place to grind. Uh, let's see, uh, tent. And... Time skip! Something I forgot. If you go to Provoka, you will want to be able to get silent and it'll become apparent why later. Anyway. And we're back. Alright, so I'm back at Melmond, and what you want to do is... If you're not attacked every few seconds... What you want to do is go around the continent. That's a bad way to go. Uh, just go around it and head west. And let's see, B select. Yeah, you just want to head west, and uh, that's about it. There will be a port if you reach the other side of the continent and uh, go a bit north. Anyway. Let's see. Right over here. And we go up here into this cape. And there's the port. We have to walk a little ways, but... Oh, wait. Wrong port. Ah, uh, shoot. I think I picked the wrong one. All right, let's see. There it is. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. <clears throat> Man, voice crack. I think I'm looking my I think I'm losing my voice. Okay. Trolls over here.
All right. Down over here we go. And speed up. There we go. Okay. Oh, for the love of... Okay, he'll gag us. I don't get it. What's the difference between giants and guy guys? Or ogres and guy guys, or whatever. Anyway. Oh, come on! One step! One step. One goddamn step. Although these are some big-ass centipedes over here. So we enter this town of Crescent Lake. Let's uh, head into the inn. And let's see. Let's check the uh, magic shops. Stona Exit, which is a really good... Uh, Bell for getting out of dungeons, like that uh, Earth Gift Shrine. Probably could have used that to save my experience. And help. Um, Proterra, which raises the party's defense. Invisera, which raises the party's evasion. Stona, which cures stone status. And let's check the black magic. Thundaga, which is the highest level of thunder. Death, insta-kill. Quake, uh, also insta-kill, but affects more than one enemy. And stun, which paralyzes. Okay, so we want to go back over here. <clears throat> There's a little clearing in the woods. I am Lucan. So you're the guy that made the prophecy. I see a cycle of wrath, a dim light, guided by destiny. That about which our entire future revolves. Twelve sages are we, guided to this land by the stars and prophecy. Four great crystals exist in this world. The light that once shone within them is now lost. The four fiends of chaos block the power of the crystals, claiming it as their own. Fire, earth, water, and wind. These are the four forces that compose our world. Um, since Earth was the first one, shouldn't it be Earth, Fire, Water, Wind? Anyway. The source of the four forces are the altars scattered throughout the world. Defeat the fiends that have taken root there, and lift up the crystal you carry to the altar. The crystal should regain its brilliance. The four fiends plot to rule the world, both past and present. The Fiend of Wind appeared 400 years ago, followed 200 years later by the Fiend of Water. Together they laid waste to the civilization in the north. The Fiend of Earth rots the land. Okay, we already took care of him, so... Where the Fiend of Fire passes, all is cast into flame. When all four crystals shine once more, return here. All will be revealed. Okay. Bring the light of the four crystals to us. Warriors of light, only you can do this. Well, yeah, that's kind of why we're doing this. The volcano Mount Gold rises to the west of this town. The fiend of fire long slept within its passages, but she has woken 200 years before her time. Vanquish her before the world is consumed in flame. Well done, warriors of light. You have defeated the fiend of earth and restored the crystal's light. Sadly, this has drawn notice of the fiend of fire, who is not to have stirred for another 200 years. Okay, that's bad. Take this canoe and go face the fiend in Mount Gold. Okay, so since we defeated Lich, uh, the fiend of fire 
woke up early and is not too happy. Alright, so let's head out. Now, now that you have the canoe, you can actually cross rivers no problem. It unfolds automatically and you can go through here. Okay, so let's take a left. Alright, go up. And go that way. That way. Take a left at Albuquerque. Ah, that was gonna be awesome. That was gonna be going through going through to the volcano without having battle. That was gonna be that was gonna be sweet. That was gonna be a first. Anyway. So yeah, as, as you might guess in the river there are water type enemies. And as you might guess, as a bit of a stark contrast, the volcano has fire enemies. Just one ghast all by a lonesome? I'll take that. Anyway, so I'm gonna save here. Couple of save states. And we go in Mount Gulg! Don't worry, the lava is not insta-kill, it just does damage. Okay, Horned Devil. Let's try using Blizzara. Speed up a little. But yeah, as you walk across this floor, you flash yellow. That means you take damage. Fortunately, as long as you are on the lava floor, no enemies will come to hurt you. And this door over here. It's a bit of a maze back there, so... Uh, I'll probably go through it later. Actually, this, this part is a bit of a maze in itself. Yeah, make sure you pack a lot of recovery items because you're going to take a lot of damage and it's kind of mandatory. Alright, let's see over here. If I remember right, go down here. And there it is. Okay, and everybody's pretty low on health, so let's uh, use a heal. Let, let's use potions. See what's in here. Up, ah. lava worms. That's what's in here. These guys hit pretty hard, so you'll want to take them out quick. Nice critical. Gold needle. In case you turn to stone. Twenty-seven fifty. I'm waiting for Billy Mays to come here whenever there's a chest that says 1995 Gil collected. That would be kind of funny. Because I mean 2750 and I think I just got 1650. Fire Hydra. Okay, these are a bit nasty, but if you use Blizzard, you should be fine. And there we go. 
and lots of treasure. Antidote, 7340, Ice Brand, very good in this place. And in here we have another Lava Worm. There we go. Alright. And let's equip silver with the ice brand. And let's see what's in here. Flame shield. Sweet. And 880 gil. They come up with so much random numbers. And why am I picking magic for my warrior? My warrior doesn't even know magic. Uh, let's see, equipment. Okay, three Minotaur. Lazara. Lazara. Okay, that saves us a lot of trouble. Alright, this floor I went into. More door. Alright, and in here. Another lava worm. Great. Let's see how Blizzard works on it. Pretty well. And whoa, that ice brand does a lot of damage. Yep, it's one of those spaces. It's one of those spaces where no matter how many times you walk on it, there will always be an enemy there. Speed up. There we go. Okay. Ten. All that for ten. You'll come on! There, thank you. Alright. So, in here we go. Fire Gigas. Or Gigas. Man, these guys are heavy hitters. Alright, uh, let's heal up some more. Yeah, you gotta pack a lot of healing items. Actually, sort. Go through over here. Fire Lizards. Hmm. Blaze, which is, a uh, Which attacks the entire party. Let's see. Da, da, da. Oh, why did I? Come on, come on. Die. There, thank you. Alright. Staff. All that for a staff. And this one, 450. I need about 350. Or 350. Alright. Speed up. Whoa! That's a lot of damage. There we go. Alright, and there's the stairs right there. And you'll notice we're in the middle of a big ass room. Same stage here. And 
there are a bunch of directions you can go, usually to get extra items. I'll bypass those for now. You want to take the lower left. Let's try running this time. I want to conserve energy. Ow! There we go. Anyway, like I said, you want to take the lower left. Because this leads to the Fiend of Fire. Alright, uh, let's heal up one last time before we face her. Yeah, that's right, this one's female. And let's go. So you are the ones who defeated the Fiend of Earth and roused Maraleth from her slumber. And I hate when my emulator glitches out like that. There we go. The power of the burning flame is mine and mine alone. Those who would oppose me shall burn in hellfire. That's right, we are facing against Maraleth. Uh, Carrie in um, the original version. Apparently, it's a mistranslation of Kali, goddess of death. Anyway, just want to attack and have your magic guys cast. Uh... Actually, you'll want to cast silence. You can easily break her if you cast silence. doesn't always work, but when it does, oh man. Owie! Uh, let's try silence again. Uh, Blizzara. No, didn't work. Okay. Third time's a charm. Yes, it worked! She is now inflicted with silent status, which means that she cannot cast any of her magic. Um, shoot. Uh, items, Phoenix down, and let's have Gold keep using, uh, Lazara. Okay, and, uh, let's see, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. have Blue use Potion on himself, and let's have Red Mage attack her with Blizzara. So far, she's taking it pretty well. All right, let's see. Da -da -da. Oh, geez, fire fighter's almost dead. Um, let's use a couple potions on him. Yeah. Stop picking magic. All right, um, stop picking magic on the monk, I should say. 
Yeah, just spam ice spells and there she should go down without a fight. Especially if you cast silence on her. And there you go. And with that, we have brought light back to the fire crystal. See, we're already halfway done. This, this should go by pretty quick. And yes, there is the Hellfire Chasm. Which is the uh, fire element e equivalent of the Earth Gift Shrine. Anyway, now that that's done, get the hell out of here. All right. Uh, tent. All right, and I think that'll be it for now. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy, we're gonna see what else we can do to bring back the other crystals. Until then, this is Silver telling you to stay silver.